Hello again and welcome back to Scott Wonders World. The fat ugly one, or you Scott, not the pretty one, Wonder. Squeak. He's back with another one of his little bullshit bullshit beer bullshit beer reviews. Um and we're on day number three. Three, two, one. Um of the new Tesco range, and I'm doing these in brew dogs. <laughs> Uh, we're all in on brew dog sweet oh scott oh, i was trying to get the fucking um no i'm going for it i'm going for it i'm going for it people so number one out of the black with black heart they got a thumbs up from me price range 175 really nice made stout um and i will happily pick more up for black heart coming in at number two on tuesday was arcade made a double dry hopped double IPA, eight percent, nice beer, um, well made beer. Actually, wonder. Took a sip of it um, when I finished the review, which is filmed just before this one. Two beers tonight, and she quite liked it as well because there is a nice gentle sweetness that runs through that um, double dry hopped double IPA. The only issue I have with it is the price point of four pound. I think it's a bit excessive. Three pound, and it would have got a thumbs up from me because I think it's good. I think it's good. And now we come to the one that terrifies me, and is probably, I would think, going to ruin a really good start to the week. Uh, third out of the brew dog bat is <laughs> I saw this, and it was a moth to a flame. Uh, this one, I do apologise. So this one is brew dogs Palm Beach. A pina colada, New England IPA. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. The only pina colada beer I've ever had was sent to me by, by my friend Toby, uh, the fantastic Tyrannosaurus 69. Um, Toby, love to you and the family, mate. Um, who sent me a load of beer that he didn't like. And within that beer, uh, within that beer box, was a pina colada pale ale. I think it was a pale ale. Toby might correct me if he watches this. From Glen Affric Brewery. And this is nothing against Glen Affric Brewery. It was that beer alone. And it was fucking terrible. Awful. It's melt. It tastes like vomit. So, when I saw this, my ears pricked up. All the skin sort of stood up on end as I thought, it's going to be bloody awful. But it might make for a fun review. So, Palm Beach Pina Colada New England IPA. If you like Pina Colada. Obviously, I don't know who sings that. I know it's from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Brewdog, Palm Beach. The ABV is six and a half percent, so good ABV. I've got my goggles. I've got my goggles. Let's see if it says anything on the tin. I'm sure it's going to say flavourings. Ingredients are in bold. Uh, uh, listed in bold. Ingredients are water, malted barley, torrified wheat. Not terrified wheat. It's not scared. Malted oats, hops yeast. Natural flavourings. So we're um we're back to the brew dog. Where are these two beers? Certainly the the arcade made. I think it really really benefit benefited from those flavours coming from the the hops, the yeast, the malts. Um, I think it really benefited from that. No fucking adjuncts thrown in there. And obviously Black Heart stout the stout was tremendous. So. Pina colada, can of vomit, brew dog. I think this was three pound. Is either three pound or three pound fifty? I can't remember which it was. We'll leave some in there. We'll come back to it. In the glass. Oh, in the glass. Slightly darker orange colour than the um, the New England esque. Orange, uh, half a finger of tight white head on the top. As most Brewdog beers do. 
it looks all right. See what it tastes like. Smells like. Huge amount of coconut, pineapple. It smells full of adjuncts. Very sweet. I don't think. On the aroma alone, my love. It good. Would you like to come and have a smell? smell. Hoff camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this. Oh, that smells like pina colada. That smells like pina colada. It does. It smells good. It smells too sweet for me. I might like Would pina you like colada. to try it first, my love? Yeah. <laughs> the face is not. It's, it's giving. Quite coconutty. Okay. It's quite sweet. I don't think you'll like it. I don't mind it. You don't mind it. If Wanda doesn't mind it, I'm in trouble immediately. For me, it's that, that coconut overrides everything. It doesn't, crucially, doesn't smell like vomit. Good start. Cheers. <laughs> That's going to get very, very sickly, very, very quickly. Um, very, very, very sweet. Coconut flavourings in abundance, <laughs> absolute abundance. Pineapple. There's a quite a stringent bitterness going on in there as well. In all honesty. Nah, <laughs> not for me that one, that ain't for me, oh mate, oh. I'm trying, I can't try anymore, it's, it's not for me, that, it's fucking nuclear sweet, you get coconut, you get pineapple, And you get this really quite astringent, not very nice bitterness on it, and that's it's, it's, and that's not helping either, because obviously you want the sweetness and the bitterness to sort of balance themselves out a bit. It doesn't help. Um, it's really not for me. Um, it's not god awful. It's not as bad as that Glen Affric um, can of sick. Um, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 is it as bad as candy kittens? Probably not. Is it as bad as Tony's Hopper Lonely? Probably not. Um, but it, yeah, it's just, just not for me. That one, not for me, not, not, not for me at all. Um, if you've had it, um, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to give that a thumbs down. Uh, it's, yeah. Six and a half percent said six and a half percent did them well. They've done that nicely. Uh it's just an adjunct heavy middle of the road to lower middle of the road to no road dirt track um beer from Brewdog. Uh Palm Beach 
pina colada. I'm going to be honest, it does what it says on the tin. It does taste like a pina colada, just a fucking horrible one. Um, Palm Beach, pina colada, pa uh, near with IPA, Brew Dog, near to Tesco, £3, £3.50. Um, for me, I wouldn't touch that with a barge pole. Um, or anybody's barge pole, or just drive past it or walk past it. I'd give it a wide berth and pick something decent. I'd pick up Arcade Fiery, uh, Arcade Made for £4 rather than that. That's my humble opinion. Uh, if you've had it, let us know in the comments. If you haven't and you want to try it, then feel free to... Uh, it might tell you what to drink or what not to drink. Um, there's a thumbs up if you want to give it a thumbs up. There's a thumbs down if you want to give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button over here. If you're new here and you'd love this channel and this utter rubbish, and me and Wanda, who did like it, see you soon.